Christopher Norris here from mining.com.au. Joining me today is founder and managing director of Mako Gold, Peter Ledwidge. Peter, nice to see you. Uh, likewise. Some news out today from Mako, firstly on the Napier Gold Project where you've received some assays. Give us a little bit of insight. Yeah, it was a, a small diamond drilling program, only uh, eight holes, a lot of them are diamond tails, which means we take an existing RC hole and just go down a little bit deeper with it. And um, yeah, so it, the main purpose of the, of the drilling program was to get structural information. We've just finished a structural study. And of course, we're hoping to get uh, get get some uh, you know good hits out of it. Uh, we get some hits out, you know, we're okay, you know, like five meters of, you know, one gram, and in the same hole, another two meters, or just over a gram. Um, and you know, when you think about it, you know, of all the thousands of meters of drilling that that we've done already, you know, that usually we get something much better than that. Uh, but but yeah, the main purpose of that diamond drilling because it is a core that you get out of there is to get that structural information. So it doesn't really change what, what we're going to be doing in the future because, you know, our fences of drill holes and, and the various prospects that we're looking, the new prospects is 400 meter space fences. So the next round of drilling will be having that to 200 meters space fences. And over to Corhogo where geomapping and rock chip sampling is underway. What are you seeing here? Yeah, so um, that was a discovery we made and we announced that in March, I believe. And, and uh, that was based on a very preliminary uh, mapping and rock chip sampling, basically one crew on the ground for three days and they took 22 rock chips and, and you know, they all came back over 20% manganese. So since then we drilled uh, 10 holes over the 14 kilometer strike lengths that are basically twin zones that are each seven kilometers long and two to 300 meters wide. And uh, so eight out of the 10 drill holes uh, had uh, manganese in it and some two of the drill holes had pretty spectacular results uh, ending in mineralization. We only drilled to uh, uh, 50 meters. So the reason for the rock chip sampling program is we've got all our geologists on it, including our chief geo and, and uh, they're just swarming the entire manganese rich area and, and taking samples on every outcrop. And, and from that, we'll end up with a whole whole series of rock chip samples, and then we can focus onto the area that we, you know, 14 kilometers is a long way uh, to have. So we want to focus on the best kilometer of that. And, and uh, you know, so that's that will be the, you know, going forward. We've got an IP program planned after this, uh, once we focus on that one area. IP is geophysics for those that don't know, and basically it'll pick up the high-grade manganese. And so we'll do that over a kilometer stretch. And we're also taking a 160 kilogram sample for metallurgical testing. So we're advancing all the projects and, uh, you know, um, happy to be, to be doing that. Peter, you mentioned the IP surveying, but as you continue to advance both projects, what does the rest of the year look like for Mako? Well, um, you know, more drilling on uh, on the Napier project, obviously, because uh, right now we've got uh, 868,000 ounces. And so what we're doing is uh, um, we've identified through our auger drilling 15 new targets. And, and uh, so we've drilled four of those so far. Uh, and uh, three of those look pretty good, and uh, including the ones that are reported on today, notwithstanding, you know, the kind of mediocre diamond drill results. Uh, and, and then we'll also be doing a little bit of auger drilling in the north part of the uh, Napier uh, project where we just haven't, you know, done enough auger drilling and then probably identify some more targets there because we made a discovery there last year uh, with only 21 drill holes. And with that included nine meters at three grams per ton. So we're pretty excited to get up there as well. And then on, on the uh, Kurogo project, um, well, we'll do the IP and the rock chip sampling and then probably follow that up with, with drilling on that uh, one kilometer area that, that we should outline from the rock chip sampling. That was founder and managing director of Mako Gold, Peter Ledwidge. Peter, thanks very much for your time. My pleasure, thanks.